Hey guys, Zildjian here. Welcome to Realms of Magic. This is a really, really neat action RPG with a bunch of crafting elements that I stumbled upon. I actually got a message from the developers asking me to check out the game. Ended up streaming it for three hours. I loved it. They wanted to know if I wanted to do a sponsored video. I was like, heck yeah. So here we are, you guys. Thanks for the devs for hooking me up with a key for this game and sponsoring today's video. The, the reason that I think this game is so cool is it has a lot of skill-based learning. Now, you know, if you've been following the channel for any time, you know I love skill-based learning. The more you do something, the better you get at it. And it allows you to get good at things without having to worry about leveling up other skills. For instance, if you like tailoring, for instance, you could be a high elf, right? You could get some magic stuff and make your own armor. If you're not into that sort of thing and you want to be a miner, just choose a dwarf and then you could get mining bonuses and stuff. Or if you don't like cooking and farming, don't have to worry about that. You could just eat raw meat as a lizard man and get all of these type of bonuses. So there's a bunch of, there's a, even a jack of all trades with the human, but I'm going to pick the high elf today because I want to be a mage character and being able to weave and tailor uh, better than a lot of the other character classes along with some arcane knowledge bo bonuses like some increased mana and mana regen sound like a right up my alley. So let's go ahead and start. We're going to randomize our character and you'll see there's some different things that you could get like the skin color changes, the hair types, and the eye color. Let's randomize this a little bit more. Well, you can actually change the styles too. But let's go a few and you'll see that there's an accessory or an apparel slot that pops up. There's a little bandana and stuff. I think we got to do that. We got to go with blue here. Uh, blue eyes, white hair. Let's change the hairstyle. And I think what I want to do is go to something that looks like a bandit, you know? This is... That's a little overpowering. <laughs> that's a little bit overpowering. I think... That is a pretty good look right there. Let's go with that, okay? You could change the eye type or whatever and the mouth type as well. We could go for a shorter uh, little look on the, the apparel and we can change our skin color and our hair color as well too. I like the white hair. The white hair works good as well as a little bit darker of a skin works for me. Let's go ahead and rename our character to Zul'jin. This will be my character, my second character named Zul'jin. Do you want to play the tutorial? Heck yeah, because I think it's neat. It gives you a little bit of story background, kind of tells you what's going on. And there's some items that I got when I do it too. So I got three guys chasing me. I'm about to run out of energy to run and boom, I fell into this dark place. And at the top right is going to show me a little bit of what I can do. You'll see that I have a little HUD here in the top left that shows me my life, my stamina and my mana and it kind of gives me some instructions on what I could do. I better run from this place. Now, uh, it, there's, I don't want to spend too much time on dialogue. So this, I'll just tell you what, this guy is dying. Apparently he got trapped down here, got in a fight with some troglodytes and he ended up losing his eyes. He got stuck by a poison dagger and he's not going to be able to make it out of this place. So he tells me, he's like, hey, you know what? You just go ahead uh, without me. It kind of gives you the chance to talk about your backstory as well. You know, why you ran away in the first place. And uh, he tells you that there's a wall in the back that you can actually mine out. So let's go ahead and hit this wall. We're going to mine out some stones. You might recognize this mechanic pretty well. And all of the places that you could go to um, in the, on the open world map allows you to kind of dig right you could dig down into the ground and make tunnels and stuff and you could use blocks to your advantage which is really really cool you could game the ai like that i like it quickly stand behind me something's coming oh these are the troglodytes so he summoned a ghoul Ooh, i love pet classes man come with me if you want to live okay arnold <laughs> come with me if you want to live all right uh, this place needs a thorough cleaning uh and is that what you want me to do? Thank you for saving me. I owe you my life. It was close, wasn't it? Those pesky troglodytes got what they deserved. I'm at knee close, but you can just call me Mage. Okay, Mage. I fell into a pit and found yourself in this mess. Never mind, stranger. Your former life is not a concern of mine. However, if you want to repay your life debt, I need you to help me with some tasks. Oh boy. He's, uh, he's laying it on thick. Okay, I was forced to leave my home alone so I know what it feels like to be on your own. Anyway, I want you to, I need to perform an important rite tonight. I'll need a couple of things. Okay, so we basically became this guy's assistant. 
And firstly, we need to get, wait, what? A robe? We need to do your laundry now? Oh my gosh, dude. All right, so highlighted items. You can take stuff, naturally. We got a door here. So anything that in the environment that you want to use just highlights over. And there's going to be his robe. But we found a couple things here. Uh, so first of all, what happens if we try to put on the robe? We just put it on. Oh, that looks gangsta. I like it. And we also just put on the hood. So the robe itself, let's look at the stats on it. Uh, the robe is worth 49 silver. It gives armor and health and mana regen. Oh, can we keep this thing? What happens if we try to keep it? I know he just saved our life and stuff, but oh, this thing looks epic too. I have your robe. I didn't want to bother you. Oh, man. Do we have to give him the robe? No, he took it, you sucker. <laughs> I'm all ears. To perform my ride, I need to say an invocation in certain steps. My memory is a bit rusty, so I need a book and quill. Okay, where are they? Climb up and turn right. Um, the floor is in bad shape, though. So it's going to tell me, it's going to show me basically how to build. Now, the rocks that I, uh, I mined earlier, so to speak, I could use it to get across this little gap and stuff. So... We'll just highlight this and go right across, bam. And we're gonna take the book and quill. All right, I'm doing all your errands, bruh. Oh, this robe, I want it so bad. Uh, what do you mean? To perform the ride, I need some specific ingredients. I have most of them already, but there's still some things missing. I'll get them for you. Ingredients can be obtained from a dead rat. Frankly speaking, my base is swarming with these vermin. How many times do you start games that have to kill rats? I love it. Slay one of the buggers and bring me the rat's tail, bones, and a giant rat pelt. So yeah, you can skin your corpses, so to speak, and uh, use them for crafting and all sorts of stuff. So we're going to go down. It's so dark, I need to use my torch, which we could use with Z. It says here in the top right corner. What is this place? Is this your basement or your dungeon, dude? What are you keeping down here? All right. Oh, the rats. Uh, okay. Um, oh, here we go. We got them. Uh, okay, so you can see how much hit points or health they have left by their names actually changing color. I kind of panicked, so I didn't uh, talk about that when I was doing it, but I reached level two and I got a talent point. Now, this is where it gets really, really cool. So, we can open our skill book. Boom. Let's kind of see what we got and drag it into the, I guess you could say, perspective uh, slots here. We can also hit T for talent trees. And this is where it gets cool. You could pick all sorts of different skill trees to go down like you would expect in a, a true RPG. So we could pick flames, fireball, fire uh, proficiency here. We've got frost for magic stuff. We can pick summons which this is what I did with my other character. I started summoning rats. It was kind of cool. There's also a necromancer, and I think I want to try the necromancer because not only can you get skeletons and stuff, but you can also get the bolts, and I think that's what we're going to start with. So let's go with dread bolt, and you know what? Let's start off with skeleton instead. I changed my mind. Let's apply. We got summon skeleton, and we're going to put that in our slot here, and boom. First of all, we we already took all the wraps, the 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 <laughs> the stuff from the rat corpse. Now you could bury it. So you know how sometimes corpses pile up in games. You could just get rid of that real quick. And let's see how. Ah, hello skeleton. So he summons for nine seconds and he's gonna fight for us. So basically, we just summon him when we get into a fight. You can see that it took a little bit of manager mana, but my mana is managing to regen. And now we need to get out of this place. So we can toggle combat again, and uh, we can go to our first slot, and boom. So the tools, you don't have to select individual tools in this game, which I thought was really, really neat. If I go to my backpack here, well, actually my character sheet, you'll see that my tools are already loaded in here. So as long as you highlight your tool slot right here, you'll have the ability to just mine right through it, which I thought was pretty cool. So no need to switch between an ax and a pick and a shovel and a hoe and uh, all of that stuff. It kind of just does it for you. Okay, so we can get out of this little hell hole, so to speak, and knee close. We have your stuff, buddy. Let's turn off our torch because we don't really need it. Uh, have your ingredients. I'm pleased to hear that. I knew you will dirt some handle some dirty rat. I am nearly done with my things for the right. 
I hope I won't have to face another basement dweller. This time I needed to take, make me something. To perform the rite, I need a lot of fire and smoke. Simple torches won't do good. I need a huge campfire. You want me to make one? Indeed. <laughs> to do so, go to the basement again and turn left. Walk through the pantry and help yourself to any food you find. You must be starving after all the materials needed for my campfire should be in the, one of the crates. Uh, just don't get scared, my friend. I, can't, I keep weird things down there, okay? So, we can go down to the left here and uh, let's equip our torch again. We'll go back and we'll get ready to fight just in case we have to as well. Okay. I'm so hungry. Okay, boom. So you can see your food meter and your water meter right here at the top left where my mouse is. And we're going to take all of this. We got some pumpkins, some glass water bottles, which you can see them appearing on the right. Naturally, you can always check the... Um, the And I accidentally summoned my skeleton. You can always check your inventory by hitting your backpack and seeing what you got. So we could take a drink of water here. Um, we can eat some food. There we go. So when you equip food, it automatically eats and drinks. You could just put it in your consumable slot. So no need to fill it up. Let's say you just have 20 apples. You could put all of that in your stack right here and you'll just eat it when your uh, stats get pretty low. So I thought that was really, really cool. Okay, I think we're gonna have to fight something really, really soon here. Does it allow us to go further here? Uh-huh. Okay, we're gonna turn on some lights. Okay, there's a rat down here and there's some traps too. All right, so we're gonna summon our skeleton. Yeah, get him, skeleton. You see how his name is turning red and orange? Okay, so basically it goes from green or blue to yellow to orange to red and then death. That's how you kind of gauge how much health it has left. I thought that was a cool mechanic. And what the heck is that? Uh, <laughs> this guy's keeping that minotaur down here. Uh, more walls to destroy. Okay, thankfully I do not have to go down that path. Let's go ahead and break these walls out so we could get through. Yeah, I don't want to mess with that Minotaur. What are you doing with this kind of power, mage? What kind of rites are we performing here? And you're a necromancer? Okay, there's uh, some sticks in here. We're going to take that. Oh, can we turn on the big light? There's nothing else for us to get here. So let's go ahead and hit H and we will make the campfire that you wanted. So. We can make pine planks. There's a bunch of different workbenches that we can do, furniture, and you unlock recipes as you craft too, which also kind of rewards you from going through some of the trees here. So let's go ahead and make the campfire. And you're gonna see what I mean right here. We'll make the campfire using the sticks that we just found in the chest. And uh, boom, now the door is gonna be open and we can move through. Okay, let's talk to him about the campfire. Sure. <clears throat> Here's your campfire. I hope my basement didn't scare you. <laughs> I mean, the Minotaur was a little bit scary, but I dare you to say uh, that you got skills in your hands. A friend of mine, Hardwin, was the man with best crafting skill in the whole kingdom. He was also the only person who didn't want to expel me from Woodbury. Why didn't they want you to leave? Uh, because of false accusations, prejudice, and superstitions. I mean, you are a necromancer, buddy. Uh, anyway, I don't want to talk about it. However, if you happen to get into trouble, go straight to Hardwin in Woodbury. He won't turn you down. Okay, cool. Uh, is that all you need for now? There's one last thing I want you to do. Afterwards, you could come along and watch me perform my rite. Uh, what do you need? I trust you, lost one. <laughs> so I will open more parts of my house for you. Go to the top floor and then go to the roof. There you will find two small plots. Once there, <laughs> wait, once you're there, I need you to do two things. Firstly, gather all the flowers you find there. They're magical and will serve you purposes in the right. Secondly, while you're already here, please hoe the soil. <laughs> I'll plant some new seeds as soon as I finish the right. Will you do that for me? Of course. So it kind of gives you some... Uh, you know, some some little some little things to teach you a little bit about farming. All right, so he opened the rest of his house, but these doors are still closed. It's like you can't get through it. He's probably got some good stuff in there. But here we are on the top floor, and uh, this is stairs. I like the way they did this, the little background deals. Okay, so anything in here? No. You know we got to dig through all this junk, man. Anything in here? No. He's got some 
hanging herbs on the walls and stuff to go a little bit higher and this is what he was talking about so you can press e on any one of the uh the plants here and we also need to select our hoe which is on the three and it's just as you would imagine boom all you have to do is click on the soil and it hoes it and then if you had seeds we can actually plant it up okay i hoed all the dirt and took the flowers that's what i need let's go back to our little tool set here i'm gonna turn on your light how about that <laughs> all right now, i like the fact that you don't take really any fall damage that i've noticed anyway and you can fall from good heights as you saw at the first part in the game uh i did what you asked good job i think we're get along just fine don't you here have some seeds you could plant them on the tilled soil uh just use them while wisely thank you will you perform the right now yes i'm ready come along and witness powerful magic sure all right all right, mage, what are you going to show me? Uh-oh. We've come to arrest you over my dead body. Summon your ghoul, dude. Uh-oh. Can we? Can we help him? Yeah, summon your ghoul. Oh, I can't hit him. No, the mage. Knee close. Knee cl Oh, my God. They just, they skewering him. Knee close. I don't know what to do. Hit Skeleton, go get him. They won't attack him either. Niklos, I don't know what I can do, buddy. Except loot your corpse after they kill you because these guys are still in the green and you are very red. Oh, no. But he's rolling too, man. Oh, Niklos. I can't even steal your robe? Dang it. Uh, nobody will escape us. Who are you? We are executioners of the temple, witch hunters to be precisely. Oh, he was the necromancer, so they killed him. You've got <laughs> wits to question a witch hunter, don't you? He was a heretic, and for the reason we put <laughs> to his miserable exist put an end to his miserable existence. That's what happens when you deal with forbidden lore. Man, I don't believe he deserves such a fate. And I have reason to believe otherwise. Now, go about your business while you still can walk. Wow. All right, I have nowhere to go. Uh, you can't stay here. This place smells of corruption. Nearby, there's a village called Woodbury. Oh, we could go see that guy that he was talking about. Uh, as far as I know, a blacksmith Hardwin is said to be a decent man. Okay, that's what we're going to go do. And they're like healing with magic now. Oh, why can't I loot your corpse? Any close? Why? Man. All right, it looks like we got to get out of here. We have to press the M key. And, okay, we have a part of the map that opens up. Now, you can't access any other parts of the map until, like, the story goes. Like, I can't select travel here. But what's really, really neat about this is you could go to any one of these tiles, whether they have a point of interest or not. Uh, but right now, we need to go to the town, right? But I'll show you what's up with just traveling to a random place. So, here we are. Just randomville, right? So, you can harvest resources. You can fight stuff, <laughs> you know. Uh, you can mine down in the dirt. There's a wolf. Okay, hold on, buddy. Hold, hold. Oh my god, that hurt. That was half my health. Okay, skeletons. I need your help badly. Oh, they got axes. Skeleton. Oh, okay, only two seconds left on the skeletons. He's orange. Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, so maybe I'll bit off a little bit more than I could chew, yeah? <laughs> you know, I had to try a little bit though, guys. Okay, here I am. You know, we're not gonna mess with the wolf right now. Let's just go ahead and hit M and let's go to the town, shall we? <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> let's not do that again, okay? Do I still have all my inventory and stuff? Yeah, I sure do. Okay, not real penalizing when it comes to death. That's good. I see some chests down here and stuff. I can see ice fighting fire in your eyes. Uh, I hate this place. Why? <laughs> Tell me something about the area around Woodbury. Do you need any help? Uh, you won't find any work here, Outlander. Better go where you came from. Wow. Okay, I'm not talking to you. I've been through hard times. I could just sleep in your bed? Seriously? <laughs> I'm getting cold. I'm looking for work. I'm sorry, stranger, but there's nothing 
I would like to do. Uh, I would like you to do. You better ask Hardwin. Okay. Hardwin is basically who we need to talk to. This is Oswald, the innkeeper. Do you have any work for me? Uh, frankly speaking, I don't know how to make ends meet. Uh, perhaps I could help you somehow. Uh, to make this place busy again, I would need at least one gold. Uh, the inn's roof and the walls need to be repaired and the floor should be repainted. Uh, there are also other expenses. One gold is pretty much, but I'll get it for you. This place deserves it. It will be hard to get one, but I have another idea. I'll get you the materials that you require. I really don't know. If you have any time to fix it myself, someone has to run the inn. I think it's high time you stopped complaining and rolled up your sleeves. I'll get the materials you need to fix this place. I guess you're right. <laughs> My father would say the same thing. In that case, bring me 50 pine wood, 20 stone, and one red dye. I think that'll be enough. Okay. <laughs> All right. Tell me what I will find beyond the walls of Woodbury. Uh, I like, uh, wait, most likely you'll find death. Wow. These are dangerous times. Well, we know that from the wolf. And being beyond the gates of our village sounds quite risky. I see. What's this piece of paper you're holding? It's just, uh, about to throw it away. Some, wait, real? The guy? Wait. Some wheel the guy left in my inn about a month ago. If you're interested, it's all yours. Okay. They be uh, some wealthy guy. My bad. The font's a little bit hard to understand sometimes, specifically for me. Okay. So Oswald will sell us a bunch of different types of food and beverages. Uh, we could trade stuff that we found from him, like the rat's tails and stuff. Uh, giant rat pelt, for instance. He'll pay us 20 for that. Okay. So I just drank a water bottle, as you see. My bottle just, uh, the empty bottle just came into my inventory. So, we need to find Oswald. Oh, hello. <gasps> Can I steal stuff? Oh, in the true Skyrim fashion. Is he going to hate me for it? No. Hello, my friend. <laughs> I just stole your stuff. And he's like, hello, friend. <laughs> and he's like, I'm just a petty thief trying to make my way through life. Can you tell me anything about the area around Woodbury? I want to trade with you. I am seeking work. Okay, I'm seeking work. Sneezes. Guys, curse this old age. My mind works fine, but my body is suffering uh, with time. Mine too, man. Uh, is there anything to be done? Uh, you don't look very well. Perhaps I feel even worse. I, <laughs> I may have caught some sickness. I hope you don't have COVID, buddy. Uh, I will be fine in a few days. Okay, where have you been? I've been to the city of Stonebridge to fulfill orders of my clients. I guess the meat in the inn was a suspicious origin. Uh, never mind. I need to deliver all of these items, but I don't feel fit to the task. Do you want to help me? All right. Uh, I have goods that need to be delivered really quickly. My condition does not allow me to do it myself, so I need you to ask to help me. Could you get these things to several people? Sure. Count me in. Okay. It's good to hear. Please deliver this in can. Uh, wait. This tin candelabra to Kaya. Bear trophy to Paul, a elixir of wood cutting to Ronald, and tin wood to Ron. Okay, come back when you're done. Okay, cool. And let's see what he has to trade here. Okay. Oh man, you got some stuff. Hey, you have upgraded tools. Okay, I have $37. If I go to C here, let's see what kind of tools I have. Stone. Okay, but you have. Oh no, you do have stuff. Oh, you have tin. Oh, a pine, wait. This is a stone axe's equipable weapon. Hmm, you know. You know, you don't say, it's only $10, I'm buying it. I am buying it. And uh, let's see, what we got? Oh, that's some quest items and stuff. We don't want to get rid of those. I think I'm just going to go ahead and, oh, wait. He wants to sell me this for one silver? No, I thought it was... Value 50. Oh, he's marking it up on me. You sly devil. No, no, we're not going to buy that until we have some more stuff. All right. Well, we might even be able to make it too. You never know. Okay. So, I see you're carrying much war gear on you. Uh, farewell. Okay. Well, I guess I thought it was a tailor or something. Don't disturb me. I have other news. Okay. So, we need to find uh, the places that we could give for quests. We can also. <gasps> Rat on a stick. How delightful. We need some sticks to do that. So, we could go mine a little bit uh, if we do this. Oh, look at this. Uh, or we could, now we don't need a mine because we got plenty of ore. We could do burlap cloth with some jute. This is all things that we could find uh, in the 
in like the open world i'm looking for work i have no work for you okay so it's basically just a lot of different random quests that you could go through so if we go to the quest log here which i believe is let's see there's a map we've got skills talents backpack uh i think it's j yeah there we go so the village of woodbury and it shows you i need to go to woodsbury and talk to the blacksmith uh, materials for Oswald, we need some wood for him, and uh, deliver items in Woodbury is all of these. So, wood seems like a good place to go. We, we'll talk to everybody eventually. Let's talk to this blacksmith. Um, I want to trade. Train me in blacksmith. He'll actually train you to do stuff too. Um, why don't we go to... Hello, I'm looking for work. Ah, this is who we needed to talk to. This is Hardwin. Friends of Nicholas are my friends as well. Captain Kale has just ordered me to bring him axes, but first I need to have proper materials to craft him. What do you need? In order to craft so many axes, I'll need 18 tin ore. Go to the miner Jeremy and bring me those ores. Uh, they have been here long time. Go with haste. I'll get them for you. Uh, all right, that's cool. And uh, we'll have a quest for that. We also have some ores that we found a little while ago so we can actually smelt some of these up uh-huh and our smelting has increased to two which gave us access to smelt stuff for clay bricks clay blocks for building because you could build in this game too as well as well i think that's it so we've got all the tin bores that we could do huh no we had a little bit more okay so can we actually go to the anvil and make something <gasps> You, bruh, a tin axe for damage. No, not yet. What do we need? Sticks? Okay, we really need to go get wood now. Uh, so I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's just go right outside into the forest. Huh? How about that? <laughs> How about we just go right into the forest? Oh, it's dark like heck, bruh. All right. Um, we're not going to go far in. I hear splatting. I hear splatting going on. That's okay. Uh, I think we're okay right now let's swap to our tool and just chop down some trees real quick <laughs> so naturally when you get better tools you go through the uh you go through resources a lot faster you can you can dig a lot faster mine a lot faster chop wood a lot faster all of the above so we've got some pine wood oh we've got some pine cones too i guess that's to replant trees you can do like little tree farms and stuff that's neat all right, I think Nikolos needed, I'm not Nikolos, hard one. Uh, so the innkeeper needed like 50 wood, but pine planks are something that you actually make. Now you don't go off the map when you go to the edge right here. You actually have to, oh, look at this. You see all this ore? Hold up. We go, oh, all that ore without and get in danger? That sounds pretty good to me. You know, though, I'm feeling brave. We could always come back for that. Let's let's go a little bit deeper. We have we have skeletons to help us. If we run into a wolf, oh, that's a bandit. Oh, he might drop some loot, though. Hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get him, my pets. Yes. Oh, he's yellow already. You you toast, man. You're an expert in pain. We got. Oh. No, 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 kill him. Kill him, my pets. Oh, I need a ranged move so bad. They almost got it. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. No, 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 no. We got him. Oh, my gosh. I could have used the heal potion, too. I had one in my bar. Oh, you had some boots? I'm going to take your shoes, bro. I'm going to straight up take your shoes. Hold up, hold up, hold up. This is... So we have cutthroat boots, which gives running speed. So it's got some like Diablo properties. I like that. Instead of our little burlap shoes, we could sell the burlap shoes though. So armor one for both of them, but equipable, uh, but we get run speed from this one. 1% 1 isn't much, but it's something. All right, our man is back. We're ready. We're ready to face another challenge. Okay. I see some stuff down there. Or I wanted an easy way to get down. Skeleton. Get him. A giant rat. Ouch! <laughs> Those rats bite. 
Oh, but we can make some rat on a stick now. <laughs> Which sounds just absolutely delicious. Okay. Anything else down here? Or out here, I should say? I gotta kind of watch my stamina. Oh, there's a couple of guys down here. Okay. You know! Alright, I got my skeletons. Let's just regen our mana. I wonder if my skeletons are actually working on the other guy. Oh, you just kite him, man. I'm just kiting him. Oh, you in the red now, son. Oh, jump attack. Are you kidding me? No, give me them boots. Give me them boots. More skeletons. Oh, my God. That dude hit me hard. Okay. Hold on. Potion. Potion. Po <laughs> you know, if we could kill him, though, he's probably got some awesome loot. Okay, we need more mana now. I don't have any mana potions. Oh, dude. I wonder if there would be a way to trap him. I'm sure the way he jumped attacked me a second ago. I'm pretty sure he could destroy us. <laughs> you know I gotta test the fate, guys. You know. You know, you know, you know. Uh-huh. Bro, he doesn't even look like he's hurt, though. He wants to add me to his collection? Oh, no, you don't. Not again. Bandit Outlaw. Yeah, he's still in the green, bro. He's still in the green. Yes, my skeleton minion. He keeps jump attacking. But he's easy to predict. He's in the yellow now. Is he an elite or something? I don't think so. Rub, if we had an axe right now. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, he has some leg guards. Ooh, oh, two silver and 40. Armor two, health three. And a rogue jacket. Oh, take it all and equip it, baby. Am I going to look different too? Yeah, a little bit. My shield kind of hides it, but... Oh, now I do see all the different... Oh, man, this is good. So we got the empty vial from when we used the um, the mana potion, too. <gasps> Apples? Oh, heck yeah. Heck yeah. Okay, you know what? Outside of mining, I can always come back here and mine. Let's, uh, let's see if we can travel back to the town. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I did get some wood... That means I can make rat on a stick, <laughs> right? Is there any way to get down there? Hold on. We got a treasure chest right here. This might seem a little crazy. No, I can't. Oh, I can't mine this, man. I can't. I can hold a ground. No, it doesn't let me. I was about to say, I'm trying to get in there. This might be something that opens up after a little while or whatever. Oh, I need to eat. Oh, or right. am I going to eat? I am going to eat, but I probably... Yeah, the food's getting a little low here. It should be okay, though. I, I'll eat that pumpkin, I suppose. I wouldn't eat pumpkin IRL unless I was really starving. To Marcus. Got some books. I don't know if I want to steal that yet or get into another quest. All right, let's go to... Where we can cook real quick. Uh, oh, first, actually, let's craft some sticks because that's what we needed for rat on a stick huh sticks need pine planks pine planks need pine wood okay so i get four pine planks from that and i get four sticks from that okay so it breaks down my by four so we could get rat on a stick oh baby some good cooked food potatoes baked apples oh yeah that's true we got some apples and my cooking increased to two uh let's just do them all Fried cabbage? Seriously? Cooking increased to three. So we have the option to get cooked chicken now, too. I wonder if you can, like, farm some chickens or if you just gotta kill them. I don't know, man. There's so many different things. We got 
Did we get any jute? No, we didn't pick any jute, but we did get some wood. How much wood did we need for old boy? I don't know. There's so many quests to do, but I think we're out of time for the day. Guys, make sure to check this game out. It's 20 bucks on Steam right now. You can head over to the description in this video and check the link if you're interested in the game. And if you want to see more, please like the video and comment telling me you'd love to see more. I'd be happy to do a series on this if there's enough interest. But that's going to be it for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Zuljan signing off. We'll see you next time. Break it down.